Hi guys, welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see what's going on with your money, your career, your job, your education. Let's see what's going on with you guys, okay? Um, I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. Guys, I hope you are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. All right, guys, let's clear the energy. I want you guys to take a deep breath in. And release. Let's clear the energy, guys. There we go. There we go. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Money. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Job, your career, you know, how you're trying to better yourself in some type of way shape or form okay all right this is going to be for my virgos show me show me what i need to see this is going to be for my virgos what's going on with my virgos money dragonfly have confidence during this time of great joy renewal and connection to spirit i'm dealing with a lot of virgos that's born in august i'm getting a lot of fortune with my virgos that's born in the month of august here there's also a lot of confidence surrounding your finances right now present moment right now present moment there's something that you have to be grateful for there's something that brings that you are rejoicing about are there something that you will be yeah show me show me what's going on with my Virgo. Some of you guys could have been born the 8th. Show me. So we have love. It says love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Such positive energy. Such positive energy. I'm also getting like positive connections. You guys are making some, I was just about to say money moves. But positive connections here. You know, some of you guys, should have been, you could have been born in the 17th. I'm also getting 8-8. Eight, eight. Bottom of the deck, we have a journey is indicated. Either physically or metaphorically, your life will become more full. This is saying that things are about to get better. It's like if things, I see where there's joy in it right now, present moments. But things are about to get better. Some of you guys could have been born in the 26th. But I'm also getting eight, eight, eight. That's telling me that there's a change that's coming in for you guys. There is some wins here that's coming in for you guys. You're almost there. You're almost where you need to be. You know, when that eight comes, comes out, it talks about some significant changes. You know, this talks about momentum and action. You know, it talks about going for, you know, getting out of one posture in your life and going to a whole nother posture in your life. That type of energy is coming through. It talks about your detaching from what no longer serves you and going towards what does. You see, there's a transition that's happening right now, present moment in you guys' life when it comes to your career, your money, your finances. Some of you guys right now, present moment, you may be considering some type of transition. You may be considering some type of move uh, move up the ladder. You may be considering a lateral move. You may be considering like walking away from a career, a job and becoming an entrepreneur. You know, there is a change that's happening. There's a consideration. 
There's a lot of energy here of you guys considering what's your next moves here. And with that love card, I feel like it's all about you guys following your heart. Because there's something in this energy, like if you're not happy right now, present moment, there's a lot of consideration about what would make you happy. And for a lot of you guys, your stability, your foundation, taking care of your family, you know, not living paycheck to paycheck, like that type of energy, whatever can bring you that type of stability actually brings you, brings you that type of joy. That's that kind of energy that's coming through here. Yeah, let's see. So this is for my Virgos. I want to see what's currently going on with my Virgos money. What's currently going on with my Virgos money? King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody here could have just got a settlement or you may have a pending settlement here. Somebody here, of course, we just were, we're still in tax season, coming out of tax season. Some of you guys, you could have gotten a, a return on your taxes, whereas it has given you a boost to your income. But this is also about you guys doing things the right way, thinking before you're spending. Thinking before you're spending right now, present moment, you're, you're guarding your assets right now, present moment. You're guarding your bank account. You're guarding your money. Somebody here, you could be in the middle of some type of battle here. And this is like trying to figure out ways of protecting your assets and your resources so somebody else can have access to that. That type of energy is coming through. The will of fortune, look at that. There's some positive changes when it comes to your finances that's coming in. Positive changes, great fortune here, great fortune. But this is telling me the will is turning in your favor. You know, this is the will turning in your favor here. I see when the King of Swords comes out, this is, this is someone that's very intelligent. This is someone that is prepared. There's a preparation where some of you guys right now, present moment, you're prepping yourself for some type of change. You're prepping yourself. This is getting yourself ready for some type of win here, some type of change. Some of you guys, there's a feeling of something is coming in and you're, you're, it's like you're getting a line. There's an alignment here. You know, you may be discording certain things out of your life to make room for something new that's coming into your life. You know, that type of energy strength. This talks about courage, strong Leo energy. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You guys are going to be sitting pretty. Some of you guys, this is about taking a risk, like gambling on something. And there's some type of win here that's coming through. So what's influencing this King of Swords, though, for my Virgos? The Ace of Swords, Clarity. Ace of Swords, Clarity, Eight of Swords. Look at that. Ace of Swords, now I have eight, 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 eight. Okay, Ace of Swords talks about clarity. On that King of Swords, I feel like, again, there is a need for a change. There is also consideration surrounding some type of change right now, present moment for a lot of you guys. What do I do? What's, what's next for me? And I feel like because some of you guys, you may feel like you are stuck. You may think you know, a feeling of kind of being stuck in a posture right now, present moment, but really and truly you're not stuck. Really and truly you're not doing as bad as you think that you're doing. Really and truly, you know, there is blessings that's on its way here. Eight of Swords, you can free yourself. You can get yourself out of the situation. Use your intellect, use your knowledge. It's like use the gift the good Lord has given you to get yourself out of a situation that is keeping you stagnant, keeping your money flow stagnant. That type of energy. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. There's been some slow progress here, but it's been steady. Slow progress, though. I'm talking about extremely, extremely slow. And I feel like you guys have been trying to be patient I feel like you've been trying to be patient with a career, trying to be patient with a job, trying to be patient with some type of settlement, trying to be patient for some type of lawsuit to be over and done with, trying to be patient. Yeah. What's the current challenge my Virgos are facing when it comes to their money and job? Five of Cups, you're not happy. It's, 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 it's a grievance. You know, you're losing out. You feel like you're losing out in some type of way, shape, or form. 
And it's something for some of you guys, going to your job actually depresses you. For some of you guys, you see that? Some of you guys, I'm telling you, you feel like you're stuck or like nothing's going to get better here. You know, this is like you go to work, you go home and you drink yourself to sleep because you're just so down. Like, you know, that's message is meant for someone, not everyone. But that's the type of energy here. You still have two cups here, but there's three cups here. Something that you once was proud of, something that you once celebrated, something that actually once brought you joy, no longer does. No longer does. Now it's just, it's depressing. It brings you in some grievances. You feel like you're losing yourself and you're losing in this place wherever you are right now, present moment. You know, you're ready for a change here. You are ready here for a change. Yeah, somebody here, you could have been in a relationship that changed the whole dynamic of your workplace. A relationship that changed the whole dynamic of your career path. Yeah, two of swords but you're so indecisive. Like you're scared to make a decision. You haven't made a decision. You go back and forth. Even though you, that's your challenge for some of you guys, as I see 11, 11, even though you are tired of this, some of you guys, you're scared to make a decision or you're very indecisive about making a decision and you're pretending everything is fine. You know, you may have gotten skipped over on a promotion or a raise or a job that you may have applied for to climb a ladder. You may not have gotten the job that you wanted to get. You know, you may have been overqualified for the job and you can't understand why you why you never got it. So you may have been trying to close on a deal that never actually went through. And it's like, what the hell? You know, you may have thought, oh, you had a sale are you are you just knew that you had something that was due to you and it just didn't work out that way you may have got gypped within some type of settlement or some something like that and that in itself is like so disappointing so disappointing here and this is pretending everything is fine when it really and truly is not there's a feeling some type of way through this energy yeah show me past what was going on in the past here show me six of swords moving on to karma waters you can't move on you know the six of swords talks about moving on to karma waters but for some reason there's a fear that 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 on the other side of this there may be failure on the other side of this things may not be as good as what you have like there's a there's fear with that six of swords because you're keeping yourself where you're at you're keeping yourself in the posture of where you're at because you are very fearful that it, the grass may not be greener on the other side you know, that other job may not be all that it seems. It may be too good to be true. You know, I may not make it as an entrepreneur. I may not, you know, that type of energy. You know, I may not find another job. I can't quit this job. I may not find another job. That type of energy is coming through. Yeah, three of swords. I told you, didn't even look down. But there's so much fear coming in. There's so much fear that's coming in here. There's so much fear coming through. Yeah, show me. Show me the near future. Let's see what's going on with you guys in the near future. Show me. Three of Cups. Something to celebrate. Something to celebrate. Whatever you are celebrating, do not overspend. Do not overspend. Hold on. Ace of Pentacles. So there's a win that's coming in for you guys. You got money coming in. You got a new job offer coming in. You got some type of new proposal coming in. But you got money coming in. Something to celebrate. But your spirit guides are also saying to penny pinch. Hold on tight to the resources that you have. Yeah. The will of fortune. Your luck is about to change. There is some positive changes coming in for you guys in the very near future. Just keep on holding tight. Keep holding tight. Two of cups. You know, you may enter a partnership with someone. Some of you guys may enter a relationship that may give you more money in some type of way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be a big sum, but it actually boosts your income in some type of way, shape, or form. You know, some of you guys, you may be joining partnership with, with somebody, working with somebody. You could be joining partnership, dating someone, and actually working with this person. You know, that type of energy is coming through as well. Yeah, the moon. You don't see this. You don't see this at all. No, let's see. So let me know what's going on. What's in my Virgo's hopes and fears? What does my Virgo really and truly want? And what does my Virgo really and truly fear? 
when it comes to their money, their work, and their career. Ooh, the tower. Scorpio energy. See, all that fear. All that fear. Building an unstable foundation. You, Some of you guys feel fear that you don't have enough resources to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Some of you guys, there's fear here that things just may not work out the way. Somebody, some of you guys, there's a fear, a fear of being sold, sold on something that is not true. Sold on something that is not true. Yeah, there's a fear of an upheaval here, strong Scorpio energy. But this is all about building on a foundation that's unstable. This is like somebody offering you a job, but you don't know much about this company because this company just started. But you're with the company right now, present moment, and that that's a sure thing. You know, there's something about surety coming through where wherever you're considering, whatever moves you're considering, there's a lack of surety. But nothing in life has surety. That type of energy is coming through. Yeah, the magician. This talks about your resources, your skills. So you have what it takes. Gemini Virgo energy. You have everything you need. You do. And this is also telling me that the universe is going to help you you may not know it. It's when it's very unexpected. You may be backed into a corner. You may be backed into a corner at some point in time, but this is also saying that the universe is going to help you. The universe is going to step in. You will not fail. Because this is saying that this is something that you have manifested. You are trying to manifest some type of change here. Yeah, nine of wands. You know, you've been, you've had some rough, patches you've had some rough times you have um some of you guys you may have gambled once before you may have invested in something once before and you failed you know some of you guys you may have taken a risk in some type of way shape or form when it comes to your finances you know you may have quit school to thinking that something like like thinking you may have quit school or quit a job and thinking that oh i entered into this relationship and this person's going to take care of me but that didn't work out that way you know, some of you guys, you may have had to drop out of school thinking that, oh, I'm doing the right thing because I have certain responsibilities and then you never actually got to go back to further that. You know, that type of energy where some of you guys, you may be trying to go back to school. You may be trying to further that. And there may be fear like, can I afford it? Can I do it? Can I work a job? Can I do my education? You know, can I still afford to work and pay for my house, pay for the roof that's un over my kid's head? that type of energy i feel like there's so much running through you guys mind i feel like there's so much running through you guys mind show me show me what's going on outside of my virgos show me what's going on the lovers gemini energy so you guys have a choice to make queen of wands and it's going to take courage you have a choice to make and it's going to take cover cu courage a lot of you guys, you are in a relationship or you're entering a relationship that's going to be very abundant. And why is because when two join, that's the energy. I'm not saying you got money. I'm not saying this person's got money. I'm not saying this person got money and they coming in to give it to you. But I feel like you guys are joining forces, a lot of you guys with someone. And in doing that, it's going to make things better for you in some type of way, shape or form. You may feel like, okay, you may you may join a relationship and then now you're sharing bills. You're sharing certain responsibilities. So now you can go back to school and further your education. You know, now, now you can work part-time and pursue, pursue your own uh, business part-time. You see that there's something in this energy where what, whatever is coming in, it's going to allow you to make some changes change much needed changes and changes that you really and truly do want to make that you really and truly do want to make i'm getting a lot of energy of of partnership here i'm getting a lot of energy of help here the lovers is a choice you know the lovers is a choice here queen of wands it is going to take you guys to be courageous you know and don't take on more than what you can handle you know, some of you guys, you need to stop worrying about what everybody else needs you to do for them and focus on doing for yourself. Massive energy. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome? 
Ten of Swords. So you're going to be leaving behind that. The moon. The moon talks about what's hidden beneath the surface. Cancer, Pisces, energy. Why is the moon here, the sun? See, you don't know how much better things are about to get for you. You do not see it. It's hidden from you right now, present moment. And you know why a lot of you guys, this is hidden from you right now, present moment, is because the universe feels your fear. Some of you guys, it's the words that you're speaking. It's your mind manifestation. It's your thought manifestations. You know, some of you guys, it's taking you longer to get where you want to go because you are lacking belief. You have to be a believer. A believer that you can manifest what you want. A believer that you can do what you want to do. A believer that you can bring forth whatever change you want. Because the change starts with you. You know, the change starts with you. You can be gifted with all the universe wants to keep gifting you. But if the change hasn't happened within you, you're going to continue blowing every dollar that you make. You know, you're going to continue, you know, taking risk on things that... That, that there's no no surety or there is like no kind of you're going to continue doing those type of things massive energy coming through massive energy coming through eight of wands be prepared because the momentum is picking the momentum is gaining you guys are going to be so happy you don't see this it's going to make things better it's going to allow for it's going to allow for some type of healing it's going to allow for things to get better in your life massive energy let's see show me spirit show me what i need to see this is going to be for my virgo's money career finances job and our education let's see show me show me what i need to see show me two fell out i was waiting to see what else we got we got more okay so first out we have media here it says get more publicity to increase your finances some of you guys as i just saw 22 22 on the clock you may be in the public's eye some of you guys may be bloggers you could be influencers here some of you guys you could have your own youtube channel here you know but there's something about you guys needing to be seen more here you know it says step into the spotlight and get seen have courage to stand on stage some of you guys there's something that you want to do and it's time for you to come out of the back into the front you need to come center stage here you know some of you guys you may be writing people's songs people's music but you yourself you can sing it you see that you can write it and you could sing it some of you guys you could be chore choreographers and you could be writers you could be musicians and the thing about it is you have so many different resources within yourself that you yourself you can do it and that in itself is going to make things so much better for you yeah some of you guys are being called to be actresses radio hosts podcasters singers didn't even read that models or any mass media job here is where you guys are being redirected where you guys are being directed and then we have soul tribe you are attracting your soul tribe who will support you you know, it, all, it also says to your environment is draining your, your personal and professional life. What environment are you guys in right now, present moment? What is causing distraction in your life right now, present moment? Because some of you guys, your spirit guides are wanting you to get refocused. You know, yeah, you're attracting your soul tribe who will support you. But there's also someone here. You know, you may have one person that you can consider to be a part of your soul tribe. But then you could live in a whole community. You could be a part of a whole friend group or a whole family dynamic that is bringing you down in some type of way, shape, or form. It says spend more time with people who will lift you up, not drag you down. I didn't even read that. You need to focus on people that will lift you up, not drag you down. Not drag you down. No. And then we have patience. It will require having faith while you're showing the way. See that? 
You know, some of you guys, it says the need to control leaves no room for divine timing to work in its magic. There's some things, you know, I know that's a hard thing to take a leap of faith without having a backbone. Because that's what I feel like some of you guys, you may feel like you're lacking a backbone. But this is showing that the universe is your backbone. But you have to have faith to take that leap as best as you know how. You handle it as you see fit. Okay, it says the universe will give you what your soul needs at the perfect time. At the perfect time. Yeah. Hmm. And then we have solitude. Ret retreating into your private world to find answers. Some of you guys, I'm telling you, there are some distractions around you right now, present moment. So you lack direction. You can't quite figure out or put your finger on what's next for you. It also says you're not taking enough time for personal reflection or you're taking too much time. So some of you guys, you're overthinking and some of you guys, you just have too much distractions going on in your life right now, present moment. It says achieving great things will be hard and come with some lonely episodes. You know, this journey that you guys are on, where you're trying to go when it comes to your money, your finances, your stability, and your foundation, you may find this to be a very lonely road. You may find that you only you can bring forth this change. You, some of you guys may be waiting for somebody else to pick up the tab, but your spirit guides are saying that it's not going to happen, that it is for you to make the change, truly for you. And then we have windfall. It says, expect a sudden windfall of money or pay raise soon, which is what we've seen. It says, right now, present moment, money is currently in a positive cycle. There's nothing to worry about. So your spirit guides wants you to know that even if you don't have it right now, present moment, even if you feel like something is stagnant, it is in a positive cycle. There's nothing for you to worry about. It says, spend money wisely Make sure both your head and your heart are aligned. Because some of you guys, when you're not up to par here, you spend. You do a whole lot of online shopping to fulfill something that is missing here. Or to kind of put a band-aid on an ache because you entered into a, an environment that is not healthy any longer. Massive energy. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. And I hope you have such a wonderful evening. Bye, guys.